everybody! Welcome back to the Guinea Pig Place. So today we're going to be doing some fun Christmas crafts you can do for your guinea pigs. And then we're going to do one also today on um, one you can make for yourself with your guinea pigs. So these are some really easy but really fun crafts you can do. Um, we're going to be doing, I'm shooting for two crafts in a video. We're going to do like one for guinea pigs, one for people. And then we're going to try to do like one of these videos every week up till Christmas because I have a ton of ideas, including my favorite, which is a gingerbread Heidi house, which is so cool. I made one of these in the past. Guinea pigs loved it. So I'm going to film making one because it's a real fun idea. Though that one may be a video in of its own. So we're going to see. And of course, Christmas cookies. Oh my goodness. That green cage. There's so much fun stuff coming up. I can't wait to show you guys. But, um... To keep it from getting too long and hard to edit and everything, we're just going to pick two crafts for a video. So the first one is to make um, little wreaths for your guinea pigs. This is a super easy craft, but it looks really awesome and your guinea pigs are going to love it. So for this, all you're going to need is some hay. I like to use small pet select hay because they have such long strands. Um, I try not to use any that have real short strands because those just do not work. So I found Small Pet Select works really well. And like Orchard Grass has just naturally very long stems. So that tends to work well. What you're going to need to is some twine. Do not use yarn or string because those aren't very suitable for guinea pigs and can be a choking hazard. But twine is completely safe. So that is a good option to use. And, of course, scissors. That is all you're going to need, guys. So, and your hands, but, yeah. So all we're going to do is I try to give the hay a little shake just to knock off any of these small bits. Be prepared for a bit of a mess. And you're going to just separate it. Try to eye up about how thick you want it. I'm not sure. It might go a, a little thicker. Maybe like a little more this bunch. So try and separate it into two pretty equal parts. And then you're just going to take a little bit of twine, cut off a section. You're just going to tie them here in the middle. Like that. And like this. There. And that just kind of holds them all together so it's a little more manageable. And you're just going to kind of want to shape it. Try to make it nice and kind of stuck together best you can. Then you're going to take them so that two ends meet. Oh, that's kind of hard to see with all this hay everywhere. Sweep that away. There we go. So you're going to try to take two ends and make them meet. Sometimes I'll even overlap them just a little bit like that. Then you're going to take your scissors and your twine again. Cut off a section. Just make sure that they're overlapping some. You're just going to grab it in your hands. Take the twine and tight. This is what's actually holding it together. There. It's going to want to kind of bend it. Sometimes with these tougher stalks, you kind of need to really bend them a little to get them to meet. And then you're just going to want to cross over the ends like before. Cut off a bit of twine. Overlap the ends, tie the twine around. <laughs> this part is a bit tricky. Try to find the twine end in all this hay. There we go. Slippery little buggers. Okay. And tie it tight. So, for that end, I'm going to do another strand. You can see how it's kind of sticking up. 
So I'll just sort of reinforce it a little bit. Right there. There. And then, obviously, it's kind of weirdly shaped. So fix that. All you have to do is just sort of <laughs> try to reshape it by pulling at it. There are some of these flimsy areas. If you find any of those, all you have to do to fix that, just take some more twine and just reinforce those areas. Because, hey, you know, a lot of times it comes in all these different lengths, so sometimes you'll run into sort of a not so <laughs> tidy area. So just to fix that, just take a little more twine, and that usually is all you need to do. I'm going to do one more over here. This side here is just a bit, just thin, it feels. Kind of right there is, is a weak spot. You just sort of shape it some more. Try to get that nice circle. There, and you have this cute little wreath. It is all edible materials. Um, but every wreath obviously always has a bow. So, to make that, you can be as fancy or as simple as you want. You can either braid a bow or just use one simple string. I'm actually going to braid it. So, to do that, just take three pieces of twine about the same length. Put them all together. And then just going to want to braid it. So I'm going to go do that and I'll show you it once it's all done being braided. Okay, so now we made this cute little braided ribbon. So for that, we're going to pick a spot to tie. I think I'm going to tie up here at this kind of weaker spot up here because um, it's just not as pretty up here. So I think not as full. So I think that'd be a good spot to put the little ribbon and sort of cover that. So I'm just going to loop it through one of the strings like this. And then you're just going to tie a bow like that. And then just slide it down towards the front here. And then just sort of <laughs> shape it. Try to get that shaped up here. Look. Just like that. Got this cute little ribbon on there. And then just take another piece of twine, however long you want it, to tie the wreath up. And right up above that same little loop there, you're just going to slide some twine underneath there. There, and you can tie it up in your cage wherever you like it. So that's a super simple little wreath that you can make for your guinea pigs. All it is is hay and twine. No glue, no collars, no anything. Just hay and twine. So I hope you guys like doing that. So I'm going to go clean up and we're going to show you guys these really fun ornaments you can make for your guinea pigs. So this next little DIY you can do isn't so much for in your guinea pig cage, but is a fun ornament for on your tree. So all you're going to do for this, all you need is a guinea pig. <laughs> Alright, go explore, don't go far. So all you're going to need is some air dry clay. Make sure that this is non-toxic. You can also use Play-Doh if that is more easily available for you. You can use oven dry clay as well, but this is just easier as a no-bake solution. Just make sure whatever you're using, again, is non-toxic. Then you're also going to use some acrylic paints or just whatever type of um, paint that you prefer to use, but definitely something acrylic is best. You're going to kind of roll it out in your hand, get it nice and warm so it's more pliable. You can use like cookie cutters and stuff for this as well to make cool little shapes. I'm just going to be shaping it in my hands because I actually don't know where the cookie cutters are currently. So I have to go find them. I recommend making sure that it does not stick before you actually go through all the trouble of putting their paws in. 
So this kind of takes a little bit to get it soft and pliable. You don't want it real hard to put their little feet in because you have to press on them harder. So then take your guinea pig. You're going to put their little paw in there. You just very gently press down. Very gently. Don't want to do it too hard. Lift up. And there you have their little paw print. You'll be able to see it a little better once you paint it. So that is Missy. Then you're just going to take a little, like a paintbrush or something, poke a little hole here at the top. All the way through. Like that. And then you'll just paint it and put their little name on everything. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Now put that aside. Then you're going to repeat those steps with your other guinea pigs. So I'm going to let that dry. You guys will all paint it and show you kind of about that. Okay, so they're all dry now. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these the colors I want. Then we're going to thread some ribbon through these tops here. I may lightly sand the edges to kind of clean them up a little bit using this scuff pad. Um, so I'm going to go do that, and I'm going to show you them all finished. So here they are all finished being painted. You, know, you see I painted in all their little paw prints, and I don't know why I put this metallic-y stuff on. But, but, it kind of reminds me of, like, marble or something. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of cool. So I ended up with just put rubber bands up here for now. So that's them. All done. So I don't know if I'm going to hang these on the tree or if I'm going to just hang them around my room. But they're kind of cool because now I have each of my piggies prints. Um, I do have one of my cat as well. But his needs to be painted yet. So I'll do his and I have to get one of my mouse. And then... We'll have all their prints. As always, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions um, that I didn't explain or whatever, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them best I can. I hope you guys found this kind of fun to watch. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!